Welcome to Otaru. We're in Ishikari Bay facing the Sea of Japan and today we're going to show you the best things to do in town. We're around a half hour drive away from Sapporo which is the capital of Hokkaido and this specific town is really a beautiful charming fishing port which in the past was famed for its herring production and also its glass production. Today the glass production isn't so much for essential goods but is more artisanal things. There are also a few quirky museums in town so let's go and explore. Welcome to Kitaichi Hall. Everything here is lit completely with gas oil lamps and so it gives a really beautiful, unique look. We're having a coffee and a cake, but it does smell a bit funky. <laughs> As well as shopping for local souvenirs like glassware, there's a lot of character shops here, including Miffy and Snoopy. We're on Saikamachi Street, which is one of the main thoroughfares through town and is home to most of the souvenir shops, as well as more of the historic museums. Due to Ataru's association with glass, it should come as no surprise that there's also a Venetian museum here with lots of glass exhibits. One of the best parts about visiting this town is all of the historic stone houses, which we haven't seen anywhere else in Japan. Each town in Japan has its own drain cover design and those of Ataru are pretty beautiful. Ataru is pretty famous for its local seafood and so Antoine sampled some sushi in a tiny hole in the wall eatery. The Tamiya Railway was a local freightway in operation between 1880 and 1985. It has since been closed down and the track has been transformed into a green oasis in the heart of town. As I mentioned, there's lots of unique museums in town, so now we're going to go and check out the Stained Glass Museum, which is home to lots of British stained glass. This is a Taru Canal. It was completed in 1923 and served as a maritime transportation here in Otaru. Today, it's a lovely place to stroll along. If you have a bit of extra time, then you can opt to take a canal cruise to take you along the water. As you can see, we're just outside of Ataru Danku Koji. This is a collection of around 20 small shops shoved into small alleyways. The first ever steam clock comes from Vancouver and this one is actually a gift from the city of Vancouver to Ataru. We're now going to head down the coastline to reach Hio Riyama Lighthouse. The history of the lighthouse dates all the way back to 1883, making it the second oldest lighthouse here in Hokkaido. The original structure was actually wooden and was replaced with a stone building in the 20th century. And it's really worth walking to the top because the views are just beautiful. I actually read that on a clear day here, you can see wild sea lions. This is the start of the Otaru Nature Trail, which spans for three kilometers along the coastline.
You can reach Ataru via public transportation from Sapporo, but we personally rented a car as this allowed us greater flexibility to explore the surrounding region. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.